everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today, guys, we're going to take a look at a gorgeous 1970 Dodge Super B. Guys, there is zero miles on a complete custom-built uh, retro mod. Uh, the car was built locally. Uh, the gentleman Brian had actually built it. Uh, his contact info will go with the car. Uh, super cool car, guys. Um, you can see it's finished in destroyer gray. That's the gray that you see on new cars nowadays. Uh, and then the orange, it's got an orange wrap, kind of play on a vinyl top with the orange tail stripe on it. Uh, but killer car, man. Healthy 440. It's got a QA1 uh, tubular front subframe underneath it. Uh, Bentley GT leather interior in it. Super cool cars. 20 inch pro billet wheels. Willwood four wheel disc brakes. Uh, man, just a cool, cool car, guys. And again, zero miles on it. I literally picked it up uh, from his shop. And uh, I mean, just, I'm sure there's gonna be some shakedown miles on it. But man, super, super cool car. Again, this uh, this paint is really slick. I apologize. There's going to be it just keeps snowing on us, so there's going to be some water droplets. New front bumpers. Uh, you can see they've upgraded the headlights. Uh, very very cool look on this car. The hood pins kind of stuck out there. Yeah. But nice nice car, guys. Healthy 440. Um, you know, it's got a couple of miles now on it. I got it out and drove it, uh, just like I say, just to make sure everything works and, and functions. He did, this, uh, Brian did the same. Uh, dual snorkel hood. I've been waiting for some little parts, like the little 440 emblems, uh, the wipers. Just got all the wipers in. Uh, they do have to be clocked, but the I had to uh, find all the wiper components. That stuff all works. Again, if you see the photos and you see little water droplets, there's not much we can do. It just keeps snowing on us. Uh, I thought this was pretty cool. It's like an orange metallic wrap. It's kind of neat the way they did it. They did it so that, like it's got a double, um, the double seam like an original vinyl top would have been on this car. All new glass. You can see the dash in there is nice. Got a super cool billet uh, rear view mirror in there. Really cool car, man. It, th this car's got a great look to it. Uh, pop out rear windows Again, sorry about the water droplets everywhere guys I don't know where he found that rear glass It is brand new Really cool color combo man, that's that's the first thing that jumped out to me. I Thought it was just super cool original tail panel here Sorry about the water droplets, guys. Big meats in the back. Those are 20 inch, those are 315s on the rear. 20 inch wheels all the way around it. New rear bumper. Yeah, I apologize, man. There's just, Mother Nature just won't give us a break. Really cool car though. Again, you got to be into retro mods or pro touring stuff. I love it. You can see it's got Willwood four-wheel disc brakes. Uh, it's got the uh, big calipers and um, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, big rotors on. I think those, those are the 14-inch rotors. It's got the uh, six-piston front calipers on it. Again, with the big rotors. Very unique look. It's a 69 date coated 440, all brand spanking new. Uh, it's got a Holly sniper fuel injection kit on it. You can see the billet air cleaner, the billet valve co covers. It's got a uh, uh, polished Edelbrock Torker intake, uh, TTI headers, all MSD ignition in it. Um, you can see it's got a, a water pump or aluminum water pump with the um, a, a March serpentine pulley system. 
Again, Will Wood four wheel disc brakes. Now the subframe on this thing is super cool. Cool. He Brian said he actually uses this in all his builds. It's got a um, it's a QA1 tubular front subframe that actually retains the front torsion bar suspension. Uh, yeah, the front torsion bars. Uh, so it's all tubular um, and really nice. It's got a rack and pinion steering uh, unit on it. Um, but man, it's yeah, man, it's really cool. I tried to get you some good pictures underneath of it, so you can see it. Aluminum radiator, dual electric fans. It's got a, um, a 727 Torque Flight automatic trans with uh, uh, a 2800 stall. It's got uh, inline cooler. These big brakes are cool. Nice, nice car, man. Again, there's some little water droplets, guys. Again, you can see he replaced all this. New mirrors. You can see how nice that glass is. New door handles. Again, his contact info will go with the car. Again, there's going to be some shakedown, guys. Uh, you, and, and, you know, and I always tell you this, with fresh restorations, you, you, there's going to be some of that. Ah, sorry, we got some compound. The boys were rubbing it out. Um, this is uh, Bentley. Those are Bentley GT leather seats. They're power. Uh, bucket seats, console. It's all car. It's got the uh, carbon fiber uh, console in it with the uh, Quicksilver shifter. This is pretty cool. It's a carbon fiber steering wheel with a billet wheel that's tilt. It's all uh, hot rod uh, gauges, um, custom cluster in it, suede headliner. It's a push button start. It uh, it also has. I don't even know how to explain this. It's got a, I'm not a radio guy, but it's got a um, uh, uh, Kenwood Bluetooth amp. So there's, uh, and I've got the instructions for it on how it works and everything. Um, so you plug your phone in it, run your radio and stuff like that in it. All the guys get that out, a little glue from the trim. It's got a two and a half inch H pipe Flowmaster dual exhaust system on it. It's got um, frame ties. It's got uh, eight and three quarter. Um, dog got it in my mind. It's a 410 uh, limited slip rear end. Uh, it's got Hemi leaf springs. There's that uh, Bluetooth uh, amp. Again, I don't know much about that stuff. They have spackle coated the trunk. Um, not a, just, not, just not a radio guy. Uh, there's all the pa uh, paperwork that I got. Also, again, Brian's contact information will go. There's a swatch for the interior if you ever wanted to match it. Um, it has uh, KYB gas shocks. Like I said, I'll try to get all the that kind of stuff in the ad, too. But nice car, man. Super cool car. There's very nice underneath. Oh, it's got a powder coated uh, fuel tank in it. Those door pads are really cool. Seats are cool. It's all, uh, again, same kind of uh, leather on the dash. It's got, uh, there's your Holly uh, Sniper EFI. Again, this is all carbon fiber in here, which is cool. Back seats are nice. Again, it's push button start. You get in there, you push the button for a second, then you let off it, and then you push the button again, and uh, it uh, it fires. Uh, 
this thing here is bad. If I can do this one handed. That is a super cool car, man. Pack works. The gauges are all functional. There's a plug in, and then, like I say, in the center is a. Uh, there's a. Uh, a thing for the radio. Nasty big block, man. All new wiring harness in it. And there's your, uh, uh for your, uh, EFI. Don't, uh, don't turn on the wipers, they gotta be clocked yet. Oops. Yeah, don't, oh, yep. Again, all updated headlights. Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Uh, definitely keep track of our Instagram, our Facebook page. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube page. Uh, you can do that by clicking the little button there at the bottom. That way you get a notification every time I post a new one of these videos. Have a great day, guys.